Good evening, my friends. Uh, come and sit for a spell. I have uh, survived the apocalypse and have a story to tell uh, of a drunk film idea that didn't go well. This is the story of dead drunk. The drunk episode that failed. Let's get started then, shall we? I think we're all here. I'll be the one narrating. So go grab us some beer. Bernie. Not very good, man. Not very good, Zed. I remember that winter when we built those motorized lawn chairs and were racing around. And... Yeah, that was... Oh, man, we were gibbled that day. Weren't we? Were we? No, 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 my leg is fine. It's going to be okay. It's, it's, it's a little tired. It's going to be Zed. No, 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 no. I'm going to no, no! Oh, oh, oh! I'm going to stop us right here because something feels wrong. And this friggin' scene goes on just way too damn long. I'll explain what's important and I'll make you a bet. Bernie just died, but no one noticed that yet. And as the cold dark of night soon looms overhead, find a roof, lock the doors, for out here there be dead. Same to y'all, I'm gonna head down the hay house down the way and uh, see if there's some stuff we can fashion into some weapons. You're probably gonna need these. You be smart and fast out there, Laura. I'm tired of losing folk. Laura's walking off screen, but that's not our concern. But let's pop back inside to see what we learn. Zed's snooping around. Due diligence a must. He finds a picture of Labeef, whom they already don't trust. Hey. Sorry for getting on at you back there in the woods. We haven't really got to know each other all that well. You from around these parts? No, ma'am. From up north, round about Snellville, why the fourth degree? I was just wondering why there's pictures of you everywhere. So you noticed that, huh? I was really hoping you were gonna be distracted by the weekend, Bernie. You let us hear why. and the damn people eaters. We're at the ragged end of the world and you're trapping and eating people. Eating folk like they were squirrels. I 
feel like I bring a lot to the table, Zed. We leave you behind. Not one person's gonna be waking up asking, oh, hey, where's the beef? You make it sound like nobody likes me. Everybody hates you. You hate him, don't you, Bernie? Oh, yeah, we just use you for your archery skills. You couldn't hit the broads out of a hay house. <laughs> Funny thing about broads in that hay house. A hay house? What's in the hay house? Oh, no. I've said too much. You haven't said enough. It's the end of the world as we know it, and you're wasting my time with these games, the beef. What's in the hay house? With fingers so deft and the dead still outside, Laura opens the lock, then ducks inside. I'll be safe here, she thinks, as she picks up a stick. I'll push her back against something. And Laura, don't trip! Nail-biting stuff. And now Laura looks trapped, facing a ten-foot-tall zombie with five more at her back. Back at the house, tempers flare and explode. Zed so mad at LaBeef, the group might corrode. He misled them and lied and directed them here. No one likes you, LaBeef. If you were dead, we'd all cheer. Zed screams, I'll put one in your head and solve this right quick. But Zed, Labeef says, you're gonna need me to help rescue that chick. It turns out zombies aren't affected by screaming and the mace. Zed lifts up a crowbar and smashes the back of his face. Okay, says Zed, I'm fed up and I'm done with all of this junk. Let's pack up and head home. We're clearly all drunk.